Have you ever wondered how fructose can be so bad for you, and yet fruit might be considered a health food? Well, in the next 90 seconds, you're going to gain a deeper understanding of that tension than you ever had before. The intestines have a way to transform fructose into other molecules, including glucose and organic acids, before the fructose gets to the liver. What you're looking at here is what happens when researchers give animals an equal combination of glucose and fructose. Either fructose or glucose is labeled. And what you're looking at is the concentrations of glucose or fructose in the portal vein, leading from the intestines to the liver. And what you see is glucose passes straight through the intestines and route to the liver. But fructose does not. It gets transformed, leaving actually very little fructose going to the liver. And if you're curious, here's a breakdown of some of the specific molecules into which fructose is transformed by the intestines before it gets to the liver. However, and here's the catch, higher doses of fructose, as in sugar-sweetened beverages, can be harmful since they exceed the capacity of the body of the intestines to filter and transform the fructose, basically leading to fructose spillover onto the liver. The balance between fructose consumption and intestinal fructose clearance capacity determines liver exposure to dietary fructose and thereby fructose toxicity. Which dose of fructose is too much? If you enjoy that metabolic nuance, I really encourage you to check out the full video and maybe subscribe to my channel. It really helps out. Oh, and by the way, that is my axolotl. His name is Jeff. My girlfriend got him for me.